get out everyone at Sam. I've got a short core challenge for you today that's gonna to fire up the arms, the shoulders, and the belly as well. We're gonna work with some longer holds of all those poses you may not like so much. Things like plank poses, side planks, and of course, dolphin pose, and lots of boat pose variations as well. So when you're ready, we're gonna kick things off in a forearm plank. So come on over, lower the forearms down. Now we may or may not be here for a little while, so you can have the palms pressing down flat or press the palms together, your choice. We'll extend one leg back, then the next, and we are going to be here for one minute. And don't worry, I've got the stopwatch. So what we're trying to work on here is uh, a little bit of activation in the biceps and triceps, flex the muscles of the upper arm, protract the shoulder blades, so push away from the floor. If you want, set the feet about hip width distance apart, tuck the tailbone under, and just make sure those hips are the same height as the shoulders. So this is our first pose, so we want to keep the breath nice and simple, nice and steady. Just long, even, in and out breaths through the nose if we can. Working to squeeze the glutes, pull the inner thighs towards each other, pull the navel towards the spine. We've only got about 20 more seconds here. Don't worry, there is lots more fun to come afterwards. And we're here for another about 10 seconds for nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, on two, just start to walk the feet in, lift the hips up nice and high. We are in dolphin pose, you guessed it. We are going to be here for one minute also. So really press the forearms down, elevate the shoulder blades, flex those muscles of the upper arms. If there's space, you can drop your head, just look back towards the feet. Really want to make sure here that the head's not touching the floor. So keep pushing to elevate. Keep drawing navel in towards the spine. Compressing and activating through the midsection. So the ribs will draw towards each other as you exhale, helping to engage the serratus, the intercostals, and all the muscles of the core there. And fantastic. We've only got 20 more seconds here. Keep the breath nice and easy if you can. Nice and steady. And don't worry, we'll start to warm up a little bit quicker after this. And we're here for about five, for four, three, two, on one, gently lower the knee, untuck the toes, sit the hips back on top of the heels. For a moment, interlace the hands behind the back, roll the shoulder blades towards each other to lift the chest. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Nice one and set the hands either side of the thighs, fingers a little ways back behind the line of the knees. Wrap the biceps forward, press down, lean forward, and then press through the tops of the feet, just lift the knees in towards the collarbone. And we're going to be here for 30 seconds. So we want a big rounding through the upper and middle back, really pressing down through the hands, spinning the biceps forward, hugging the inner thighs towards each other. Now our intention here is to have the knees in front of the line of the arm, so there is this feeling of leaning forward. If you want, you can draw the chin in towards the chest there as well. We're only here for another five, for four, three, two, on one. Fantastic. Lower the knee, set the hands down, tuck the toes under, we're in downward facing dog. Shuffling feet a little closer towards each other. From here, inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky. On the exhale, take that right knee, tap the back of the right tricep. So roll forward, see if you can tap it. And from here, we lower it down to the right wrist without it touching the floor. Take it over to the left wrist, up the left tricep, and back to the right. That's one, we're going to do four more of those. Go down to right wrist, over to left wrist, up to left tricep, back to right tricep. Three more, we'll lower, across, up, back, two more, lower, across, up, Back, one more, lower, across, up, back. Hold at the tricep, lean forward on the left toes, press with both hands, then take the right leg back to sky, full breath in. Exhale, we're in downward facing dog. Once that right foot sets down, inhale, reach your left leg up nice and high. Exhale, left knee will find the left tricep. So roll forward, see if you can tap it. Lower down towards the left wrist without touching the floor. Over to the right wrist, up to the right tricep, and back to the left. You know we do that four more times. So lower down, 
across to right, up to right tricep, back to left tricep. Take a breath in. Exhale, we go three more. Lower, across, up, lift. Lower, across, up, lift. Last one, lower, across, up. Back to where we started, lean forward on the right toes, press with both hands, lift, 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 lift. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Set those feet hip width distance apart. Look forward between the hands. Start to roll forward, find the top of your plank, your push up. You're gonna lower the right forearm down to the mat. Roll up onto the outside edge of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top. From here, we'll start to reach the left arm up towards the sky. We're in a forearm vashistasana. We'll be here for about 20 seconds. If you want, you elevate and lift that left leg, flex the toes towards the face, and start to reach your left arm out in front of you. Take a breath in here. And on the exhale, left knee will tap the left elbow for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back to your forearm plank. Roll onto the toes, set the left forearm down. Roll onto the outside edge of the left foot, the right foot will stack on top. Start to reach your right arm up towards the sky. You're absolutely welcome to stay here or hover that right foot, flex the toes, reach the right arm out in front of you, take an inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow for one, for two, three, for four, five, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice one. Come to the forearm plank, interlace the hands, squeeze the palms together, flex the muscles of the upper arm, press down through that left foot, hover the right foot, take an inhale. Exhale, right knee to right tricep for five, for four, three, two, and one. Set down the right foot, lift the left, take a breath. Exhale, left knee to left tricep for one, for two, three, for four, and five. Come back to your plank, lower the knees, hips back to heel, hands interlaced behind the back. Roll the shoulder blades down, lift the chest. Allow your breath to slow down here just for a moment before we come on down and move towards our Navasana series or boat pose. So we'll come off the arms and shoulders, get a little more into the core. So you're just taking one last breath wherever you happen to be right now. And then making the journey off onto your bottom. So lower your hips down. Start in your Navasana. We'll hug the arms around the back of the leg, shift the heels in towards you. And when it feels comfortable, just allow your feet to hover up off the mat. And the thighs and the ankles hug towards each other. And once you feel strong and supported, release your leg, spin the palms so they face up, start to extend through the legs if you can there. Good old fashioned Navasana to Ardha Navasana, 20 times, let's do it. Take a breath in, exhale, lower lift. That's one and two, keep the legs together. Three, four, four, spin the palms up, five, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, that's halfway, 11, for 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Pause at the top, flex the toes towards the face, roll off onto the back, reach the arms up towards the feet, but don't let the fingers touch even if they can. You wanna really press down through the low back, see if you can lift the tailbone up off the mat. And then draw that chin to chest, reach the arms up a little bit higher. So here you wanna feel your tailbone as well as your shoulder blades lifting up off the mat. So the only thing grounded is the mid back. Everything else is working to lift. So you're really feeling that core fire up. I'm gonna be here for 20, for 19, 18, lift higher, 17, for 16, 15, spread the toes, 14, for 13, 12, 11, 10 for nine, for eight. If you're struggling, so am I for seven, 
for six. We'll do it together for five, four, three, two, on one. Set the feet underneath the knees. Ground the head down. Lift the hips up high. Come to a bridge pose. Feel free to interlace the hands behind the back there if that feels comfortable. So really just extending and lengthening out through the stomach. We have one more little series to get through, one more little boat series. But we'll hang out here in the bridge just for around two or three more breaths. Pressing through the heels, moving the shins back. A little bit of lift through the front body. Take one last breath. Exhale, we'll gently lower down. Reach the arms forward like you're a zombie waking up from the dead. Feel the head and shoulders start to lift up off the mat. From here we press through the feet, press through the hips, lift up, come back, na vasana, nice work. Like to extend the legs like we did before. Now from here, you're gonna take the palms together, take them off towards the right hand side. So it's Navasana, Ardha Navasana with a little bit of a twist here. So the legs will shift to left as the arms move to right. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower and lift. That's one, we do 10. For two, for three, you want more, reach the right arm back behind you. Four, for five, six, really feeling those left side obliques. Seven, for eight, nine, on 10. Come back to center, keep pointing through the toes or the balls of the feet, take both hands off to the left, take an inhale. Exhale, lower and lift for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Come back to center, hug the hands around the back of the knees. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Pull your shoulders back, lift your chest. Nice way. And to finish up, this is one of my all-time favorite core lifts. So your legs are going to do the work of Baddha Konasana, so bringing the soles of the feet together. The knees are going to fall out wide. So what this does, it limits the amount of, of psoas or hip flexor that we use when we lift by keeping the feet and legs exactly where they are. And it's challenging to keep the legs like this. It may seem simple right now, but you're not quite sure what we're doing. I promise you, it's not gonna be that much fun. So what we're gonna work to do Keep the feet and knees exactly where they are. Reach the arms out in front of us and work to lower down and lift back up. So it's essentially a crunch, but we've changed what the legs are doing. We're gonna try our hardest when we lower to keep the upper back and the head off the mat. So think chin to chest when you lower down. Now that's enough stalling. Reach the arms in front, take an inhale. Exhale, we'll lower down. Legs stay exactly as they are. And then lift back up. Legs stay exactly the same. Nice one. That's one. We're gonna do 19 more. So lower, lift for two, three, four. Notice my legs aren't moving for five, for six, seven, four, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, to thirteen. Abs are burning. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Home stretch. 17, 18, nice and slow now. Go for 19. And on 20, lift yourself up. Fold over your thighs. And chin drops to chest. And start to move left ear to left shoulder. Right ear to right shoulder. Releasing through the back of the neck. Nice one. So you can stay here for as long as you need. It's a nice, short core challenge for you to play with. Something to start your day when you wake up out of bed, you feel a little bit slow and sluggish. You get down onto the mat, smash out 10 minutes, and then you're ready to go from there. So give it a try, let me know how you go. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, leave some comments below. We're still on that mission to try and get Sam Han Yoga YouTube channel up to 1,000 subscribers. That way we can stream live off a mobile device. So if you can, tag your friends, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.